out of nowhere came a 17.6 meter wave, which was over four stories of a building. So if you were, you know, imagine yourself in the trough of the wave looking up. Just try to imagine a sudden, unexpected, massive wave. Marine Lab's data system measured the largest one ever recorded on Earth. We're a technology company based in Victoria, and we provide real-time data from fleets of rugged instruments that we put along coastlines. The fact that that wave was the largest relative to the background waves of, of any measurement to us was just, didn't really believe it. The buoy that measured that is at a place called Amphitrite Bank, which is near that beautiful lighthouse off of Euclulet. That buoy was measuring at the time six meter waves, and that was a pretty nasty storm. Out of nowhere came a 17.6 meter wave, which was over four stories. And so it transmitted that data right after, and then we had an opportunity to see it. We were able to see every motion of the buoy going in the trough and up on the peak. Besides measuring waves, Marine Lab's data systems collect many other types of useful information along our Canadian coasts. We currently have 25 units that are active from Nova Scotia to Prince Rupert and then down the BC coast and we expect to double that by the end of the year. We're measuring wave height, wave direction, maximum wave height. We can measure vessel wakes as well. We're also measuring directional wind, wind gusts, and we have a continuing line of sensors that we're adding to our platform so that we can provide other things like fog detection, and other types of weather-related events. What if a big earthquake happened and a subsequent tsunami? What role would their company play? We do plan to measure tsunamis in the future, and what we would provide is a sort of calculation or a number on how high was the tsunami at the various locations where our buoys were, and then that would feed into the science on better predicting and modeling how tsunamis can pass through. There's a, a possibility to have all the coastlines covered in data, and we have a technology and an ability to do that, and that's a really great warning system and a great way to keep people safe.